Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Our Tale of the Soul. I'm Natalie and today, because I'm still on the road traveling, I thought I'm gonna do a demonstration of how I do collages, mixed media collages on the road. So I took a bunch of little sketchbooks with me. This is when I actually cut the top off. Like, and then there's another part to it and this one is mostly used for landscapes as you can see so if you're interested in learning how to do mixed media on the road stay tuned coming up next okay so what i did because i'm on the road and I have lots of receipts and tickets from bus rides or whatever what have you I decided to use them to collage them on the top uh, yes on the, the background sorry to make a mixed media piece to give it some texture and in here he it's you can't really see it as much anymore a little closer there was one here and one here and I went to a few stages of figuring out what I wanted to kind of how I wanted it to look like but I'm trying to really go with the flow and let whatever happened happen not too much try to control so that's why I just let go and kept going because I had to that was actually something different underneath but I didn't enjoy it didn't like it so I kept going and I'm just going to stick with these colors because I'm on the road, so I'm just using watercolors, the Koi watercolor set. It's easy and has a lot of different colors, and you know, it just works. Obviously, you can use gouache too. I have some gouache with me as well, to, but they're watercolor gouache, not acrylic gouache. It's just easy to use watercolor on the road because you can wash it out easier. I really have this down size because it's hard to layer, so you have to let it dry and make sure you... It gets a little muddy, but it's okay. That kind of adds to the charm. So let's start today with this one. So what I do first is obviously get my water together and have some simple brushes. I'm going to go get a bigger brush I took. I'm going to show you this little pouch with me with a bunch of... Pens, pencils, markers, and my glue stick. So what I did, I just glued these on with the glue stick, not with a fancy glue or Mod Podge or whatever, but of course if you have that, go ahead and do that. It might stick better, because when you use water, it might soften it and it might actually come up a little bit, but it worked okay. I just don't saturate it too much with water. I just have different sizes of brushes and pencils and markers. So let's get the water and start. So one thing maybe helpful is to have some kind of a color palette in mind, like what you what kind of colors you want to use. But other than that, you also just can go with the flow and just pick random whatever comes to mind and just what you're drawn to at the moment. So. I seem to really like all these colors I used before, so I'm probably going to stick with them. So let's see what happens. I'm just going to put the first layer down and starting with the lighter colors because you can't put lighter on top of dark unless it's a pen or a marker and with watercolor. So let's just start. Um, just start with green. And as you can see, it kind of repels it, but after a while, it will it will stain it. And I mean, if you don't like it, when you get home, on, when you're on the trip, you can just work it over with your acrylics. 
it doesn't really matter. When I get it to the point of this has to be dried, obviously, it doesn't take very long, it's watercolor. I'll show you some other pieces I worked on while I was in Portugal on that farm. If you, you can watch the previous videos. You also can go to my other channel, my lifestyle channel, to see what I was up to. So you can see it gets a little muddy because I moved, I used both of them and I didn't change the water but you know you can have different water pure like keep all your water bowl separate with the separate colors but that's too much work and I'm on the road so <laughs> it's helpful to have a some um, paper towel high and handy which I need to go get or I should have this spongy thing here that might help And all about contrasting colors at the moment, so I'm just gonna go with that. This is, by the way, some kind of a mixed media paper underneath, so it's not quite as coarse as this. And I like this camera's paper here, but. Does take some water on. You can hold some water. I mean, <laughs> English. Blah. And you might want to just not use too much water, so you can. Put more of the color down. Dry. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. With the ones I already did. Here. It's my journal. I want to do some more travel journaling in here, but I kind of ended up using the little, this little one to put a bunch of my landscapes and impressions of where I traveled but I did some more in the introspective work on here I this is just watercolors and, and some markers and I wrote around it this one too there you go see that these this one and this one are very similar this was in the flow I did two at the same time this one is just, I went through a very emotional time and I'm still not quite done with it, but I hope soon because, you know, it's not fun. You need to let go of all that. So yeah, I did some journaling to try to heal and I did help, but some of the art therapy sessions I only go, they only go so far, right? They're kind of temporary solution. So, but you need to do also um, some kind of a coaching if you're going through a really hard time. With, combined with the art therapy, I think. But 
at the time I was by myself, so I <laughs> did what I could. It's still kind of wet, so I'm just I'm gonna be back when it's dry. Okay, so this is dry. Let's do some more layers. I'm not sure if I really want to get go dark. I kind of like the lightness at the moment, so maybe just create a little bit of contrast, but not too much. And again, this is pretty much a work in progress. Should have brought more pens, but I don't know. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I had a hard time getting it all into the suitcase or the case. I would like to bring some contrast in with black and white. And all these are just practice, basically, for bigger pieces I'm planning on someday to do when I have more space, when I'm actually somewhat settled somewhere. I can work on bigger pieces. But it's also right now sort of therapy for me because, yeah. Things that happened. Again, I'm not thinking about anything, I'm just doing it randomly. I have some pencils, um, watercolor pencils. I guess this is a black one. I just kind of want to bring out the, the texture a little more. I'll use my finger since this is watercolor. reason for it. And this is usually, I guess I've never done, you can redo it and if at this later stage you don't like it. This is some metal metallic green. Or even 
maybe some patterns. Sometimes I like to put patterns and see how it goes. And I can put a couple of dots on here if I like it or not. Bring a little more structure into it. I don't know. I kind of like that you can still see the the numbers and the letters. I don't mind that. can feel that I don't um, want to work too much on this today so it'll be a short video I guess <laughs> but just to give you sort of an idea the things you can do just playing around maybe when you're traveling and feel like being creative, which you should do, be every day anyway, because it's really good for your mental state. It also helps you make decisions, even though it has nothing to do with the decision you have to make, or the way, whatever way you need to go, or whatever path you need to take, or whatever. But it kind of, it's just kind of opens up your mind, because making a decision is a creative process. Should be. Unless it's your gut feeling not to do something, then that's different. And it yeah, just relaxes your mind, nothing else. It doesn't have to look like anything or be anything, but I always put a bird in my <laughs> landscapes and I feel this is a landscape. And then my signature mark kind of thing. <laughs> But I don't have my gold because I really like to usually put gold in it, but that's okay. <laughs> before we finish. it for now I maybe later in the week I want to do something different but right now that's what I'm good with
It looks a little muddy and it's not that muddy in real life. Bye for now.